Civil society organizations are calling for an immediate investigation into the unauthorized departure of a private jet from Trincomalee yesterday. A private jet carrying investors from China, Singapore and Hong Kong lands at the Bandaranaike International Airport in Katunayaka. The group of investors used the same jet to travel to Trincomalee with the assistance of the former governor of the eastern province, Rohita Bugulagama. The investor holds talks with the former governor in Trincomalee. The group of investors then leaves the country from Trincomalee. Who was it that authorized the private jet to leave the country from an unauthorized port in violation of civil aviation laws and immigration and emigration regulations? What did these mysterious investors discuss with the former governor of the eastern province? As far as I am aware, the group arrived in a private jet and they say they were authorized to take off from the China Bay Airport. But such authorization had not been given. There may be some shortcomings, but I will rectify these as soon as possible through legal means. Throughout the recent past, there has been a great deal of uncertainty surrounding the Singapore trade agreement. Against this backdrop, a group of Singaporean investors landed in Colombo, then went to the airstrip in Trincomalee and held discussions with the former governor Rohita Bogolagama and his son, following which they departed the country from Trincomalee. We have grave suspicions regarding this incident. Is this legitimate? Why were these investors in Sri Lanka? What are the contents of these trade agreements? Was this subject to broad debate in Parliament? There are grave concerns regarding the national security. We want to know why these investors were here and what they discussed. We call on the government to immediately carry out an investigation into this. If certain persons are involved in this, whether they are former governors or politically powerful persons, legal steps must be taken immediately.